In this uh, video, we'll talk about giant chromosomes. As the name tells us giant, that means these are very big chromosomes. The term giant chromosome was given by Winchester. And there are two main giant chromosomes about which we would be discussing. One is salivary gland chromosomes. They are also known as polyteen chromosomes and we'll see why they are known as polyteen chromosomes. They were discovered by Balbiani and the term polyteen was given by Kohler. Now in these chromosomes or before that let us talk about where were these discovered. As the name tells us salivary gland that means they are discovered in salivary gland of some organism. So they were discovered in salivary glands of Drosophila and the reason why they are known as polyteen chromosome is that here the chromosomes replicate but they do not get separated. So chromosome replicate but do not get separated. What does this mean and why would it result into that giant chromosome structure? We know that these two chromatids, when the chromosomes replicate, at that chromosome replication means we are talking about the DNA replication in S phase of cell cycle and then separation of chromosome during anaphase. So when we say that here the replication has taken place and now these two chromosomes, they must get separated during anaphase if it is normal. Here, the spindle fibers would attach, the centromere will split and these two chromosomes would go into two daughter cells. The separation doesn't take place. That means replication has taken place, but the chromatids are attached to the same centromere. Further, if one more time it takes place, then again there is replication again the separation doesn't take place. So there are multiple arms seen in this chromosome and that is why it is known as polyteen chromosome. So salivary gland due to the structure where or the gland where it was uh, obtained from that is from drosophila salivary gland and polyteen because this is uh, the structure that we get and this is due to simple replication but not separation of these chromatids. These chromosomes, they are rich in DNA content. So they are rich in DNA content. So this is one type of giant chromosome that we talk of. Second is known as lamb brush chromosome and lamb brush chromosomes are called lamb brush because they look like lamb brush. If you have seen the lamps, the glass lamps, kerosene lamps with the glass uh, cover maybe. And there is a special type of brush which we use to clean them. If uh, you are able to recall the structure, the brush is something like this. The same type of structure is seen in this chromosome also. On this chromosome also there are these kind of loops. And because of these loops, the appearance of the chromosome becomes like lamp brush. These are the loops which are formed. This chromosomes, they are found in the oocytes of vertebrates. And the main function is they help in RNA synthesis. They contain rich RNA. The loops are richer in RNA. So structure wise they look very very big and so are called giant chromosomes named after the place where they are isolated from and the structure. Here they are given the names as salivary gland chromosome and polyteen which was found from drosophila salivary gland and the lamb brush chromosome because it looks like the lamb brush and both these chromosomes are found in specific uh, areas for a specific function here due to RNA synthesis and okay one more function they help in lipid or yolk synthesis.
and that is why this oocyte which contains the reserve food material as yolk, these chromosomes are found. So with this, we have completed our first chapter of the unit of genetics. And this was the principles uh, of inheritance. And now the next uh, chapter which we will start from the next video is going to be the molecular basis of inheritance.